No, you must teach in opposition to the local mores if the local mores include racism, sexism, ageism, homophobia, and ethnocentrism. You have to teach about those things. And you have to have administrators who, when a teacher starts to teach about them, does not bow to the local racist or sexist or ageist and say, I'll stop her. That has to be an administrator that will say she's doing the right thing. I won't stop her as long as she's doing the right thing. In this, clue, in this school, we educate people. We don't indoctrinate them to believe the way everybody in the community does. We educate them not for the community, but for the future. And, for, and their future will be somewhere other than in a small town in Winnesheet County, Iowa. Make no mistake about this. These kids aren't going to stay here. They're going to stay, go somewhere else where there is a lot of diversity. And they're going to have to realize that diversity is a good thing. They're going to have to learn how to get along with those who are not blonde-haired and blue-eyed. And you know, and I know, that that's going to be difficult for kids from Decorah if somebody hasn't said to them, here's the way it is, people. All of you folks are members of the same race. And all of those people in Waterloo are members of your race. And all those people in Chicago are members of your race. And all those people on the Native American reservations are members of your race. Teachers have got to be required by administrators to teach the three R's of rights, respect, and responsibility. We talk about the three R's of reading, writing, and arithmetic. Reading is the only word that begins with R of those three. One be R arithmetic begins with an A and writing begins with a W. This makes no sense. Educators know better. It's time for us to teach reason, respect, rights, and responsibility and teach every child and every, every instructor and every administrator, administrator that every person on that campus has the right to be respected, and everyone will be held responsible for respecting the rights of everyone else. 